Abigail Fisher is a 23-year-old college student who applied to the University of Texas but got rejected. And rather than blame herself, she decided to blame minorities and the policy of affirmative action. Now she explains, There were people in my class with lower grades who weren't in all the activities I was in who were being accepted into UT and the only other difference between us was the color of our skin. I was taught from the time I was a little girl that any kind of discrimination was wrong and for an institution of higher learning to act this way makes no sense to me. What kind of example does this set for others? Now, now, uh, her argument is false. She made it up entirely uh, because Addicting Info explains, out of all the students that were admitted with lower grades than Fisher, five of those students were black or Latino, while 42 were white. Remember when she said the only difference was the color of their skin? Neither Fisher or her law team dared to mention those 42 students during any interviews. They also failed to mention the 168 black and Latino students with better grades than her that were denied admittance. The worst part is that Fisher was given a standard university offer to start attending the University of Texas during her sophomore year. All she had to do was earn at least a 3.2 GPA at a different Texas university during her freshman year. She chose to turn down the option to work hard and earn a spot some students still would be overjoyed to have. In doing so, she also chose to scapegoat minority students everywhere and overturn affirmative action law to soothe her white pride and privilege. That was pretty scathing on Addicting Info's part, but it, it's very true. This is a clear case of entitlement. Now, nonetheless, uh, she still is going ahead with suing the school, and her case is now headed to the Supreme Court, which means that affirmative action is now under direct threat. It could be overturned entirely because of this case. So now let me explain to you a little bit about what affirmative action is and why it's important. Affirmative action does not mean that minorities get in over white people because of the color of their skin. Rather, it means that a, a minority being a member of the disadvantaged group is a plus, just like if you participated in after-school activities, that would be a plus. Or if you volunteered for years throughout your tenure as a high school student, that would be another plus. Well, being black or Latino is just a plus. Our country's history of racism has made it exceedingly difficult for the underprivileged to succeed. So because this privileged, entitled girl who only wants to go to UT because she feels entitled to it since her family and relatives and they all have a history of going to it. Well, she wants to not blame herself, but instead she wants to place that blame of her own failure on minorities and threaten a policy that doesn't even necessarily even the play in f playing field. Affirmative action isn't a real end-all policy to ameliorating centuries worth of discrimination, but it helps just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, so yet, this entitled person may potentially ruin it for everyone else because she can't admit that it's her own fault she didn't get in. So this is a clear case of entitlement. This is a clear case of someone not acknowledging that she is a white privileged individual. So I find this absolutely maddening. I mean, it, it's one thing to just simply throw your hands up and irrationally blame minorities for your own failure, uh, but to actually pursue a case against it, to actually threaten a policy that is beneficial for individuals who suffer from extreme social, legal, and institutional marginalization, I think that's sickening, and I think that this individual is... She's basically a, uh, a Republican poster girl in the making, so you can see her running for Congress in the future as a Republican, uh, and I'm guessing she's probably going to vote for Donald Trump, because he too likes to blame minorities for all of our country's problems, but rather than uh, blaming minorities for your own failures, how about you take responsibility for yourself.